Greetings, everybody. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 108 of Frost and Fire. Let me quickly summarize the last episode before we get started. We had two raids back to back. Uh, here they are. And they were mostly of centipedes landing scattered. And here is the remnants of uh, 19 of those centipedes. And then after that, after we were trying to clean up that scattered centipede raid, we had a massive scyther raid. So all of these, uh, all of this slag that has not been queued to be hauled would be a scyther pod. So I guess there was 67 scythers, it looks like. And they landed, and I have been trying to deal with them ever since. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is... I sort of rethought this, and I, I don't think I'm going to have JD attempt to... Um, uh, attempt to drop uh, mortar shells on the Scythers. I think that that will do more damage than the Scythers could do on their own. And instead, uh, I'm going to come up with slightly different tactics uh, that might work a bit better. So... Uh, first things first, I want to get Phoenix healed up a little bit. Get him topped up. So we'll tend and feed him. And uh, I'm going to hold my ground up here and try to close this door specifically. And get ready for these Scythers that are trickling in north as we fight. Uh, let's take a look at my needs real quick. Yeah, so eat. Um... Gabe has a Doomsday Launcher as well. Eat. Eat. Everybody is also very tired to note. Um, Bash is also hungry. Let's just have you eat real quick. Everybody take a, a snack break. A weird thing to do in a combat situation, but uh, in this, I think we all agree. All right, Raptor, I want you to go back home. And my shooters get ready for what's next. So let's cue Raptor to stay inside. Uh, JD is already inside and I want JD as soon as he can to be working on his replacement eye as he got a stab scar to the eye uh, most recently. So soon this cloud of uh, scythers probably will break apart and we're gonna have to deal with them um, and it's going to be important for us to be ready for when they come as a large group. There we go. And soon, this cloud of them will break apart. And then we're going to have to uh, kill them with much prejudice. Now, another thing to note here. Uh, let me close this door. Another thing to note that uh, Hippie, uh, Hippie still has a Doomsday Launcher. And Gabe still has a Doomsday Launcher. Uh, Hippie, actually, I'm going to have you give your Doomsday Launcher to uh, Leth. Because Hippie has the ability to use Berserks, which can uh, cause Scythers to fight one another and and sort of form into a cloud, uh, which would be very useful when trying to hit them with Doomsday Launchers. So yeah, here we go. The, uh, the swarm of Scythers are released, and they're coming my way. Uh, yep. Got it. Another thing I might do is uh, call in an aerodrone strike, as they're a little bit faster uh, to signal than a doomsday launcher, because doomsday launchers take a little while. But the thing with an aerodrone strike, uh, that would have been really, really useful here. Uh, but where, where all the IEDs are, it would have also done a lot of damage to the base. Uh, JD, at this point, please stay inside and fabricate. All right, Hippie, take a step forward and start berserking. And then we are going to try to cause them 
to glom together in one big cloud so that we can hit them with air drone strikes or doomsday launchers, something to deal with the numbers that they have, because of course their numbers are the most dangerous part. So the tactic here is to give as much, uh, to sort of give them as much wiggle room as they think they want. God, stupid berserker just won't leave me alone. See what I could do. Uh, yeah, chaos give it. Good. Fine. It wants to get shot. It gets shot. Mr. Storbeck, are you ready? Uh, this is a. I feel like this is a large enough group uh, that the aerodrone strike is warranted. And a direct hit. We have five scythers taking uh, high levels of damage. And that's going to be a little bit easier for us to kite at this point. Uh, so let's go up into the northern tunnels and come back around out this way. Uh, because we still are moving faster than they are. Here's the bionic eye and Raptor sitting on the throne to try to get his uh, psych focus back up, which is going to be very, very necessary. All of my uh, current combatants are very fatigued and tired. So that's another uh, important uh, factor to note is you know, eventually our unwillingness to continue to fight uh, due to fatigue. And it looks like Gabe is getting uh, stuck. He's getting caught. So I'm going to use my jetpacks to get away. All right, let's uh, start falling back now. Gabe, your movement speed. Okay, so one of the issues now that I, I'm facing is my movement speed is penalized due to the darkness. And uh, we're not gonna get that back anytime soon uh, because it's getting dark and it's gonna stay dark. So I'm going to try to use Psycast to put as much distance between me and them as possible. And then uh, what I think I'm gonna do is have Raptor uh, actually open up the the entryway, uh, because I don't think that my uh, fighters here are going to be able to deal with uh, any more enemies at this point. They are uh, too fatigued and needing a break. And what I'm trying to do is just clear a path with a Storbeck side casting so that we can get free of them uh, one more. There we go. Thank you, Psycasts, for the win. Hippie has, uh, Skip if she needs it. And then he still has, uh, Chaos Skip. Let's have Storbeck, you jump to the door. And open it up. All right, and then check back on Raptor. Raptor is getting ready to open that front door. And the thing is, with all of these Scythers sort of in various uh, stages of being damaged and spread out sort of everywhere, um, the benefit is that uh, they are all going to trickle into my, um, my home traps sort of one at a time and not as one big group, which is very, very important when trying to deal with them with turrets. So that's why... I think that is my best way forward. Uh, we are also... Okay, so the front gates are open. Raptor, go back home and rest. And then I'm going to turn on some token turrets here uh, to start to lure these scythers into the kill box, giving them a valid target. And then JD, I want you to halt the Bonakai and hit a soother because we have a lot of people bordering on a mental break. Now, soon we will have them uh, home safe and sound uh, where everybody's going to be set on a stay home designation and given some rest. Um,
and then our automated defenses will take care of everything else. Okay, there we go. Strange feeling. Uh, JD, I'm going to have you make wake up or take wake up and uh, continue that eye. Whereas everyone else is going to go to sleep. And I'm going to completely go with overkill. All turrets, everything. So that when these guys enter the field, there is no... Here, let me turn the back ones off. It's just constant gunfire. Alright, so Phoenix is in hospital bed. And then I'm gonna have to play the game of turning turrets off to mitigate destruction. Uh, okay, Doomsday Launchers to put away. Phoenix is already full healed. Turn this off, turn that off. Gabe's going for beer. There seems to be a bit of a roadblock, but I totally don't mind. Unfortunately, it also means that they group up in a kind of a bad way. Um, I think what I'm going to do is send Bash up there to start repairing those damaged turrets, and I'll get him on uh, wake up as well. So how many Scythers are left? There are 22 of 67, so I feel like I've done a pretty good job. Uh, these doors here and this door uh, are going to re be replaced in Plasteel for obvious reasons, as will... Okay, that one was Plasteel. Now, another thing that would be uh, useful here, if I could manage it, is to drop a Berserk group attack on them, but I don't think that that's going to be all that possible. It's not that likely. All right, so Bash, uh, don't even finish that. Just start coming out here unrestricted but supervised and repairing. Let's go order and allow all. JD is wrapping up the, uh, the eye there. And then probably as soon as I'm able, I'm going to have... Uh, Raptor install it. So I'm going to be waking up Raptor in the middle of the night. Right now, in fact. To tend to Gabe and then to install said eye into JD. Uh, it would be a left eye. So. Uh, install. Oh, he hasn't put it down yet. That's why it's not in the list. Heh. <laughs> I'd love to be able to capitalize on this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to throw that plastil door together. See if that's possible. All right. Now that that eye is down, I should be able to install it. Install Bonic left eye. Rest in bed. There doesn't seem to be Scythers close enough. Yeah, all 22 are now stuck. And there doesn't seem to be Scythers close enough to uh, mess with me at this door. Unfortunately, moving to the door has uh, unlocked them. But honestly, no regrets. All right, so this steel mini turret, forget it. This steel mini turret, forget it. Uh, these are going to be supplemented with the ones up here. So this, let's do it like this. This mini turret is going to be reinstalled down here. And, uh, oh, it already has dead power. And then... This mini turret will be installed here, and this mini turret will be installed here. This is to keep sappers from wanting to sap. Uh, all right. Bash back into the kill box, because there's plenty of healthy scythers coming our way. And uh, Raptor, you were supposed to operate, but I guess I never actually told you to do that, so it's not your fault. Bash has your shield belt. 
Um, so I'm not really worried about him getting hit by collateral turrets or anything like that. Um, but there's a whole lot of scythers being uh, funneled in now. I'm going to turn on the back uh, turrets here just for more gunfire. And of course, this is going to mean a lot of rearming. So these have drawn too much attention. I'll get them off for now. Turning them on and off was actually the intent to juggle the um, the brawlers around a bit. So even though it looks like, oh, you know, they're not being useful because you have to keep turning them on and off. It's like that's actually what they were designed to do is to confuse the brawlers. Confuse these scythers into indecision, causing them to be easier to pick off. And as you can see, it works perfectly. They just keep getting juggled back and forth. Not knowing what direction to go and as a result, going nowhere. Maybe a little bit of an exploit of the game's AI. Uh, but, you know, given the difficulty of this raid, I don't care. Alright, so some of these, uh, have decided to be jerks and just destroy my turrets. Nope, they, uh, they de again. So these IED traps, uh, ha I have to be very careful with them because they are, uh, they're already damaged. But I'm gonna install them out here, um... instead of building new ones. Some of these turrets are out of steel, out of ammo. And I believe that's the last scyther. Yeah, that's the last scyther. Automated defenses have worked and we are good. I'm gonna keep everybody in the stay fortified area uh, rather than specifically home um, because or, or unrestricted, rather, because I, I don't want anyone too far from the base. I want to keep people close so that um, they can't be vulnerable from the next attack. But there wraps up the Scyther fight, and I feel like I did a pretty good job. There was um, min minimal collateral damage, given that they were Scythers. Um, that granite wall is probably the most important to replace... And I'm going to have uh, Bash work on that. It actually would make sense to uh, stockpile a little granite here. So, granite, repairs, if I could type one. And this will be preferred for raw stone block granite blocks. And then, you guessed it, if there's a one, there's a two. Paste. So instead of repairing one specific wall, just haul the whole stack. The other thing I could do is uh, disassemble the corners because corners aren't actually all that necessary. And then uh, put them in the granite wall if it was like a, an emergency, but it is not. So everybody is almost fully healed. Uh, another thing I need to do is to replace the transport pod. Um... And I'm not even really sure. Okay, the Resbex Serum is here. Got it. No, 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 no. What are you what are you what are you doing? Is this preferred? No, this is normal. Um hall. Yes, there we go. So Gabe is the only one wounded. Uh JD is fully healed. He's just anesthetized. And uh we are going to get everybody to get... Oh, that's a terrible place to put a meal. Let's eat that ASAP. And go on to a stay fortified restriction. Okay, everybody's healed. Fantastic.
reloading our jump which is going to be important if we want to evade things like uh, Scythers in the future and JD is no longer incapacitated Okay, now the repair and replace. Or not. Or not. So a mech hive landing on Bash. That was probably the best possible uh, person to be targeted for a mech hive, if I'm going to be completely honest. And uh, everybody but Bash will get up here. Doesn't look like too many of them, but generally when there's few, it means that the few are, uh, they're probably centipedes. Yep, and they're fire-based centipedes. So, super gross. Uh, the shooters here, let's see, I'm actually going to change my mind and go around back. Here's the poppers. And the fire foam poppers should keep the fires from spreading as long as the incendiary mechs keep targeting things that I want them to target. All of my brawlers are going to be dismissed, and they are going to be set inside to recover. Because uh, this is not that serious of a fight, I don't think. It will require uh, a bit of our um, resources, but it's not going to be tough to clear. even going to risk standing out here despite the possibility of collaterals and nope we're good all right jd finish constructing that door and let's get turrets off slugs off and obviously reloaded really soon randy is not giving me any rest time so the reloading is going to be important. Uh, one mini turret got destroyed, and I'll draw from back here. Makes sense. I mean, it was too close. And then a whole bunch of the uh, fire foam poppers. I'm going to forbid the fire foam poppers for now because there's enough fire foam on the ground that it should allow for um, it should allow for the uh, the turrets to not be flammable for a bit, as long as we don't clean up the fire foam. And as you can see, it's it's designated not to be cleaned. I will eventually rebuild the firefoam poppers, but the just not a pretty low priority. Pretty low in the in the scheme of things. Okay, keep on praying. Let's get rid of this mech hive. Okay, rebuilding the deadfall traps. Replacing the turrets that need replacing. Oh, and more poppers that I'm going to temporarily forbid. No, oh, even more poppers I, I failed to see. And more deadfall traps. Setting up the IDs. So you can see even the damaged IDs, once they're installed, they get repaired. So that's kind of nice. Uh, the anesthesia makes him confused. So that's at least not a uh, a psychotic wander or anything like that. He should snap out of that soon. I knew that there was a risk. Uh, it was just a calculated risk. Okay. 
IDs are now set up. And it looks like everything that needed building is built. So now we are on the stage of repairs. Uh, some of these walls are really, really fairly broken. And then once we have repaired turrets, uh, presumably they are also rearmed. Wow, we rearmed fast. I mean, having all the steel available is obviously very nice, but as you can see, we've used about, what was that, like 4,000 steel or something? And we're not even done rearming? It is expensive, no doubt. So Hippie and Raptor are trying to get their side focus back. The power couple. And then everybody else is repairing, replacing, etc. We have got a remarkable stockpile or junk pile of dead max. And just keep stacking up and up and up. So the anesthesia, he shouldn't wander again, woozy wandering or anything. So I'm going to have him, I'm going to change his priority to smith over construct to grind up these mechs into steel and plasteel. Uh, and I am not going to ask my uh, constructors to do anything but repairs for a bit. I'm actually going to repair this a little oop, a little faster by just simply replacing the entire wall. I care about uh, speed and efficiency more than uh, the loss of resources. Uh, but of course, we need to prioritize these repairs as my kill box is hugely vulnerable without these walls in place. All right, some of these turrets are getting reinstalled. Okay, so we do have our southern turrets built back up. That's good. All right, so those heavily damaged wall segments are repaired. Uh, the walls that are here and damaged aren't that big of a deal because you know, oh well, they make another door that they can trickle out of. It's not that big. A, it's not, not catastrophic. In other words. And we have a raid of Reapers. Dropping. Oh, all right. So here we see perfect, perfect. This is a raid of Reapers that targeted my orbital trade beacon. As you can see, they obviously landed at the Orbital Trade Beacon um, rather than anywhere else. There's 22 drop pods, and I have my kill box open and ready for them. Um, we do have some damaged turrets over here that I might want to spot repair uh, before they come in, but this is not a sapper raid, so they are going to be walking in and getting absolutely demolished. Uh, unless, of course, they are brawlers. They're all brawlers. Uh, nope. They look to be all ranged. Perfect. This should be a really easy uh, group to kill. Clever tactics. Uh, I guess they're bashing some stuff around, but yeah, it's not a big deal. They set some fires. All right, Bash is getting the uh, the turrets ready for them. I'm also a little tempted to just go out this door and fight them uh, because they're so few and far between, they're all spread out. But uh, I'm going to give my uh, fighters a little bit of a, R, you know, some R&R, &R, much deserved. <laughs> we have exactly 10,000 steel stockpiled. That's great. I might have to divert some of the repairs here. Phoenix, okay, you're very sleepy. To the south. Uh, because it looks like they're trying to chip their way into these walls. 
and uh nah, i don't want that but the majority of them are coming into the trickle traps With a few, I don't know what they're doing. They did some weird tactics is all I'm gonna say. All right, so they're attacking corners that don't really matter. The cable that's on fire is annoying, but it's not a deal. You're attacking a wall that goes nowhere, so good for you. It's these that are the most annoying, but I could always send a uh, bash to go bash. But here we have a few coming in. I actually, given that they're um, they're all sort of separated, I think I will go slaying. I'm going to leave... Oh, Raptor's up on his own. Uh, Raptor, you are going to switch to Prestige Helmet and your Persona Sword so that you can aid our brawlers. Marco's Deadly T is taking his sweet time. Yeah, these guys don't seem to want to come into my base. They just start smashing stuff and getting stuck and destroying cables and the like. I don't know. Very, very strange behavior. But uh, as long as they're not one giant glom of a group, uh, that's fine. Phoenix walk past, thank you. Alright. Are they breaching anything? Okay, they are breaching this wall. I'll repair there. And, uh... We're getting equipped... For... Two brawlers. Storbex is the most damaged. I'm sort of just playing hot potato there. They refuse to enter the my base though. Uh, so some of them have gone way north. So we'll just clean them up as we kill squad. I think is the probably the, the way to put it. All right, so the ones on these walls have stopped and just messing with that guy. Oh, whoops, whoops. Cover. Alright, Bash, how's this going up here? You're out repairing them. Good. And then this eight guy is moving southbound. I'm also going to want to put this fire out. Uh, Hippie, I'm going to send you to do it. You're the closest. Alright, let's kill eight. Well, JD repairs the rest of these two, three walls that were damaged. Done and done. All right, kill squad. Uh, actually, JD, return to that later. We are going to continue to clear them out around here because they are still bashing stuff, and I don't, I don't want them to break out or anything like that. Um, this one is uh, of concern as well. Because they will break in. And then Bry's in the north. Another concern. Okay, fires are out. That go juice is kind of going to be kind of nice a bit. And uh, at this point, we should have Phoenix and Raptor go first. So that uh, they don't get to shoot. Oh, they're, they're going to shoot at me. Alright, 
hippie should be... Yep, she's on her way. Uh, this wall is no longer being damaged. But this wall is, so Vash, go repair the one that's at risk. Ouch, we just got stunned. I'm going to start backing up because there's a whole bunch of them. And I don't need to continually get shot at. Raptor looks... Uh, it's just an ear. I don't know why they're not coming to the kill box, but I don't really blame them. They would die very, very fast if they did, so... The tactics that they chose to take are weird, but I understand that they don't want, like, a straight, normal fight. Uh, when this one breaks through, we'll just turn all the turrets on and dump rounds into his face. Hmm. I'm a little tempted to aerodrone salvo, but I think I'm going to reserve that for uh, emergency situations. So let me just fall back into the base here and see if their uh, target finding changes significantly now that I'm not an accessible target anymore. I guess eating without a table, fine. And here's Bry's getting shot by a bunch of turrets. All right, everybody can rest. Psych. Hippie, how far are you? Uh, you're pretty far already. Never mind, they're not really coming. Oh, they're going north to the turrets now. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, what are my needs at? Uh, JD and Gabe needs to sleep, as does Leth. Storbeck and Hippie are still good to go. And Bash is tired feeling runt. So, Storbeck and Hippie uh, come out this way. Storbeck, your crack on your leg is fine. Um... Raptor's going to come join you, and we're going to start clearing out who we can while they trickle. A sort of divide and conquer. Oh, and here's more uh, enemy bashing their way in. Not that fair of a fight. Yes. Enter. 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 No? Yes? Smash. Alright, I think I'm going to do quick uh, triage on the people that are here uh, with actual meds. So I'm going to go to the triage area. Oh no, before that, let's get rid of uh, Zero that's up here. And then we're probably going to want to... I wonder what happens if I turn off these turrets. <laughs> Lure you in. Okay, sure. Oh, Zero left. Alright, uh, let's get down to the med area then. If those turrets up north um, end up getting destroyed, uh, it's not that big of a deal to me. Before JD sleeps, I'm going to have him tend to Phoenix. And then Raptor is going to self-tend. And then Storbeck and Bash are going to get tended to. All right, another granite wall piece destroyed, uh, but we have a, a bit of a stack of granite, so we should be all right. And then what I want to do is, Hippie, you could start moving over here, but we're going to start supporting. 
it might make sense to actually lure them back towards me. So Raptor, uh, tend and tend. Okay, one down. Off. I'm going to see what happens when it's off. Tashi here, almost dead. Couldn't get to cover in time. And then, uh, Hippie, you're going to make yourself an available target uh, for the rest of the group here that might want to come fight me. Let's kill Robbie. Sorry, Robbie. Nothing personal. Bash, quickly patch up this wall here. Well, everyone else gets ready to... We should see these guys pivot and lure back south. Uh, south, Yes, and we do indeed see that. Now, the other problem that I'm going to have, I think, is I'm taking so much time that uh, we're likely to get another group of attackers uh, sooner than later. But yeah, here they come. Uh, I don't like the concept of my Geothermal Jenny getting set on fire, but... Oh, well. <laughs> I know that's cavalier, but... There's only only so many places it could be once. I did turn these turrets back on. Because Cyberman was alone and sort of standing in the right spot. And as you can see, it worked. He is, uh, he has taken considerable damage. Oh, Bash. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. I didn't have Bash uh, zone restricted, and uh, that was a bit of a problem. Uh, so they are coming for Bash, and I'm going to try to lure them in here, I think. Please follow me. Please follow me. Please. Aww. So you can see they're kind of like frozen. Um, deciding where to path to. Sorry, Cyberman. Every time I look back, you're just in a perfect spot to do this to you. I don't know what to tell you. It's almost as if you deserve to die. Splat. Yeah, there goes the geothermal generator. I think that's a foregone conclusion. I don't think I'm going to care about anything up north anymore. Um, speaking about up north, I think up north might be the best spot for me to start to, uh, kill them off one at a time. So, Bash, I would like you to haul Slate to rebuild this wall. And then the other guys will... No, they're filtering themselves out down here as well. So, Zero and Talus is going to be easy to isolate. Okay, unfortunately for all of you, I'm going to wake you up early. I do want to resolve this fight uh, before the next one arrives. Those two are dead. And let's start picking them off. Unfortunately, my brawlers are like the slowest. So how about we set it up where they come around this corner and we light them up. That'll work. Surprise! And the rest of them have gave up and are leaving because I... Uh, I made them take so long. Uh, this wall should have been in a home zone, but it wasn't. Bash, I don't believe the uh, Geo 
thermal generator is uh, recoverable, but I will have you try. And then everybody else, uh, please R&R. &R. Get cover. Get recovered. All right, so for Bash, now it's not uh, inside. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's totally gone. All right, what I think I'm gonna do is remove three cables here so this fire can't spread south and just the monument uh, square will be a foregone conclusion. Basically, I'm not going to uh, care about it at all. So everything up here will no longer be home zoned and we won't try to fight the fires. Uh, this wall still might be important for us to replace, but there's enough steel around where Bash is to get a replacement on that. So let's have him grab five steel in and get that over. Well, that is all the time I have for this episode. I'm glad to have resolved the uh, Scyther fight and then the mech fight and then the Reaper fight. And we'll see what next episode has in store for us. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so very much for watching. I will catch you next episode. Farewell.